As the Buddhist world mourns the passing of Thich Nhat Hanh, the world gradually learns about the tiny yet remarkable peace activist monk from Vietnam. Here are some facts that you probably never knew about the monk who left his body after living 95 years, spreading the teachings of the Buddha and succeeding in bringing it to the West. 1. Multiple names, one being Thich Nhat Hanh, pronounced Thich Nhat Hanh, was named Nguyen Dinh Leng when he was born on October 11, 1926 in Hue, central Vietnam. Later on, he was known as Win Xuan Bao. Born as the fifth child among six others, he also was given the nickname Bay M. However, it was only after becoming a lay monk and registering himself legally, he took on a Dharma title, Thich Nhat Hanh, in 1949 when he moved to Saigon. However, his followers call him Thay, Vietnamese for teacher. 2. Founded the Plum Village Tradition. Image. Plum Village. The venerable monk is perhaps synonymous with the Plum Village tradition, a school of Buddhism he founded together with another monk, Chan Kong, in France. Founded in 1982, the monastery focuses on engaged Buddhism, a concept created by the monk which mainly derives its teachings and values from the Mahayana Buddhism perspective. Yet, the Plum Village tradition also borrows elements from Zen and Theravada Buddhism. 5 Precepts 3. The Father of Mindfulness Thich Nhat Hanh is also often attributed as among the people who were instrumental in bringing mindfulness to the West. However, among all Buddhist monks, Thich Nhat Hanh stands out as an icon according to James Shaheen, an editor of U.S. Buddhist magazine, Tricile, the Buddhist Review. This is possibly due to the fact that the peace activist monk had published over 130 books, with more than 100 written in English. As of January 2019, 5 million copies of his books have been sold globally with many translated into more than 40 languages. 4. Exiled from Vietnam for 39 years. Image. Washington Star. As Thich Nhat Hanh experienced his home country spiral into a war zone during the Vietnam War, he was accused as a pro-communist propagandist by the U.S. Pressand faced exile from home. However, it was Thich Nhat Hanh who played a part in getting Martin Luther King Jr. to denounce the Vietnam War publicly in 1967. 5. Vietnamese refugee rescue efforts. As the war continued, many Vietnamese began fleeing their home country. This prompted Thich Nhat Hanh to rescue some of the Vietnamese people who were denied entry to countries. Many were on boats, malnourished, and without. The venerable monk and his team were instrumental in rescuing many stranded Vietnamese in the Gulf of Siam before they were told to stop by the Thai and Singaporean governments. 6. Nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Martin Luther King, left, and Thich Nhat Hanh. Image. UPI. The venerable monk was such a huge influence to Martin Luther King Jr. that he even nominated Thich Nhat Hanh for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1967. I do not personally know of anyone more worthy of this prize than this gentle monk from Vietnam. His ideas for peace, if applied, would build a monument to ecumenism, to world brotherhood, to humanity, King said in his nomination. However, since King's public nomination was a violation of Nobel traditions and protocol, the committee didn't award anyone that year. 7. Memorable Quotes Thich Nhat Hanh during a silent peace walk in 2005 to protest the Second Gulf War. Image. Paul Davis, Touching Peace Photography. Thich Nhat Hanh was not only a peace activist but a poet and orator as well. Over the years, he's made some truly powerful quotes. Here are some of my personal favorites. On Nirvana, or Enlightenment. People talk about entering Nirvana, but we are already there. Aimlessness and Nirvana are one. On War. To prepare for war, to give millions of men and women the opportunity to practice killing day and night in their hearts, is to plant millions of seeds of violence, anger, frustration, and fear that will be passed on for generations to come. On death. Our greatest fear is that when we die we will become nothing. Many of us believe that our entire existence is only a lifespan beginning the moment we are 
Borner conceived an ending the moment we die. We believe that we are born from nothing and when we die we become nothing. And so we are filled with fear of. And finally, on life. Drink your tea slowly and reverently, as if it is the axis on which the whole earth revolves, slowly, evenly, without rushing toward the future. Live the actual moment. Only this moment is life. Rest in peace, Thich Nhat Hanh. Read more stories. 200,000 Buddhists celebrated a holy day over Zoom and the pictures are beautiful. These Thai monks distribute 1,500 United States dollars worth of groceries to the poor every week. Malaysia's iconic Thien Hu Temple lights up 6,000 lanterns to usher in CNY. Cover image sourced from Karmapa and The Guardian, Edward Kitch.